Okay, mic check. Can you guys hear me all right? All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome back for the second stream. Thanks for everybody who tuned in last time. Um, we're in a little bit of a sandstorm here, so I'm going to just get us to a different shelter and we can get started. Let's go up here near Plain Song. Football, Adam Schaefer, Gabriel, Paris, everybody's in the chat today. Welcome, guys. Thanks for coming. Um, oh, this is not a great one either. It's kind of loud next to the water, huh? Let me run away a little bit. Hey, Gabriel. A quick request, Adam. What's up? So... You guys kind of got me going on Frost Claws last time. So I think we're definitely going to do some quests today. Keep going with the story, getting close to 100%. Um, well, we're not getting close to 100%. But uh, my voice is a little loud, Paris. I'll turn that down just a bit. I don't want you guys to struggle to hear me. Um, I thought we might start with maybe kind of like a behind-the-scenes frostclaw hunting guide i'll kind of break it down how i come up with the hunting guide videos with you guys and we can develop a strategy for taking them down that then maybe i'll use in the actual video when i do it so let's start with that um let me just check to see if i need to craft any ammo or anything before we get started I'm going to turn the music all the way off, too. Have I done the Eclipse? Um, like Shadow in the West? Or the one that's in the Daunt? I think I've done both of them. Because I'm picking this up where I left off my recorded walkthrough series. Yeah, Adam, I have done that one, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. That's Shadow in the West. Yeah, I've done that one. So that's recorded. It's part 40-ish in the recorded series. You guys think my mic is a little bit too loud compared to the game? I'll turn it down a little bit more. I can also, I think some of you wanted the in-game music to be a little bit louder last time. So let me turn that up a little bit. Yeah, Paris. Combat will be the real sound test for sure. Okay, so my thought with Frost Claws is kind of where I start with any of the machine hunting guides is I just check the notebook for their weaknesses. And I don't know that I have an Apex one scanned here. Oh, I do. Yeah. Beaks 50 is max level, um, and then you get ghost levels after that. So you will, hang on, let me move this chat box over so I can see what you guys are saying a little bit better. You can go higher, like I'm level 85 on this save. You can see in the top right there, but they don't actually do anything. It's just kind of like bragging rights. So fire, they are weak to fire, um, but fire is just pretty weak, as you guys probably know. So being weak to shock is the main thing we want to take advantage of for the regular ones. The apex ones are tougher because they're not weak to shock, but that immediately makes me think um, that we will want to use purge water to make them susceptible to it or something else. But let's start with just the regular variant. Um... I would typically want to use my shock shredders on the Ancestor's Return, right? But the problem is, is 
it deals such a large area of damage that it'll blow up the, the chest sack, the sack webbing, which we want to be able to harvest. So I'm thinking that we probably actually want to go with... I'll start with like a higher power weapon, like the Death Seeker. Um, and let's put that in place of my Spin Thorn for shock. And we'll see like kind of how much damage we can do, how well we can shock him with that. I mean, we're going to be able to shock him really well. And then we'll drop down to the Lightning Hunter bow and see if we can do it with that. Yeah, Gabriel, I'm just using... So my outfit right now is Nora Thunder. And then I have the Karja Blaze on with a green dye look applied. Now we have, unless you guys know of one, and I'd love to know, I don't think there are any hidden frost claw sites. So there's one here, and then there's one that on this save file I haven't uncovered yet that's like over in this area. Um, and I'm going to go find that one. You're going to scream a lot in chat today, Paris. All right. We'll see what that looks like. So what I'm thinking is basically shock them, explode the shoulder sh sacks to freeze them immediately, and then do damage. Um, what's really annoying, though, is they're both surrounded by other machines, right? So, like, we have... The fire claws at the other site, which is why, I, or the claw striders rather, which is why I don't really want to go there. Oh, I think we're hitting the invisible wall near the greenhouse. And then this one has all the fang horns around it, which I find pretty annoying too. It'd be cool if there was an unmarked spot that just had like two or three frost claws on their own. Okay, so let's see how well it works to just shock him directly. So yeah, see, this is why the fang horns are so annoying. And then I'm still questioning what the best way to do damage is at this point. I'm thinking go for headshots with a sharp shot bow. But he unfreezes himself so fast. You're only going to get like one or maybe two shots off. Sharp bow shots are tricky without a radical. Yeah, see, he just clears his frost state so fast.
And then when you have both sacks blown up like we do now, the only thing you really have to deal damage to are these resource containers on the back, which do a decent amount of damage. And of course we have these guys to deal with. See if we can hit this. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I don't like recommending a rope caster. I don't know. I just kind of have an aversion to rope casters because I feel they make things a little too easy. But. I think for a strategy that I would recommend to everyone, it might have to involve a rope caster just to tie down the other other machines. not able to chat for some reason right now I feel like I haven't seen any new messages in the chat for a second here which is a little odd oh no there we go burn through so many heals too. Luca, you can't call your mount. Um, you might be in an area where you're not able to if you're near a settlement or an area where they don't want you to fly. Whoops. Let's try something a little different. I'm just going to clear off my weapon wheel. Keep the sharp shot bow. Rope caster. Can't really use drill spikes because you'll risk exploding the sack really easily. Keep the bolt blaster, I suppose. Honestly, I feel like I can't really recommend using a shredder because you'll explode the sack so easily. Run through all my uh, run through all my healing. Let's go grab. Let's just go restock really quick. You, Outlander, come and trade. Yeah, we got that. I just thought maybe I hadn't gotten that chest on this playthrough. Let none doubt the strength of the Outlander's blade. 
Come and make your choice. I don't know why the frost claw icon doesn't appear there sometimes. Looks like we just have one. Of course, you could also override the claw striders. And since they deal fire damage, they'll help you take down the frost claw pretty quick, but they'll explode the sack. I've tried that before. Third one. I think we're just have two. And this is a regular variant. Oh no, this is an apex. So let me grab. Yeah, this is a good point, Gabriel. The uh pretty sure both of these claw striders were apex, right? Yeah. So we couldn't override them anyway. Water and then shock. We've got 90 seconds on those tie downs. The claw striders. So that should be enough time. Yeah, I don't think a bolt blaster is a good idea. Just one, huh? The final chapter. Yeah, I'm a little hesitant. We could try it, Gabriel. I'm a little bit hesitant because the area of effect on the shredders will probably blow up the sack webbing. guys are free now. Some pretty strong purge water arrows for these guys. See, we kind of just wasted that whole shock sequence with the frost claw that time.
right, well, that worked. But I'm not particularly happy with it as a recommended strategy. Taku. Good to see you here. Stream's going good, I think. I don't know. You guys tell me. We're messing around with coming up with a good strategy for a frost claw hunting guide. Haven't settled on it yet. Daka, hey bro, what do you do if your discs for Horizon won't install to your PlayStation? You deleted the game and you want to play again? Um... I don't know why they won't install for you, man. Sorry to hear that. I'm not sure how to advise you. I mean, is it scratched? Is it smudged? Do you need to clean it? Is it giving you an error message? I'm teaching you how not to do it, Paris. How would you do it? Yeah, Shining Dragon. I mean, that's part of why I'm not really liking what we're doing right now because it does burn through a lot of resources like volatile sludge run at it and melee it yeah i don't know if i want to recommend that one paris yeah see oh no the, the icon is there but how come this one isn't here you know i don't know if that happens to you guys or not but oh i should have unlocked the campfire there let's go back to the mountain site yeah lucas the arena glitch um it does still work we're still on patch 1.18 you guys feel like the game music is a little loud it's a little loud to me That's all right, Romerimus. Thanks for stopping in to say hi, though. Going down. All right, let 
me think about this. Shoulder sacks, obviously. The sparkers are covered by plates, unless it's the first couple that you've killed. Those are a nice target, but it's hard to get them uncovered. We can't explode the chill water unit because we want the sack webbing. Rescoursing containers are a good target. They don't take a whole lot of damage before they get destroyed or paired off, though. That they're easily knocked down. Yeah, we can use we can use knockdown Paris for sure. It's about the same as shock though, you know, in terms of immobilizing them. What do we have? An apex one or a regular one? Regular. I, I'd like to be able to take it down fast enough that you don't really need to worry about the other machines. Smoke bombs might be important. The bolt blaster on the freeze sacks. Yeah, we could try that. Yeah, we can do knockdown and frost at the same time. It's hard to frost them though, unless we've got the purge water on them. Oh, I can keep going. See, this is the problem with the with the bolt blaster. I'm scared these guys are gonna attack us like crazy. Yeah, the snow is really good, Jeremy. Yeah, the, what I do like about the Bolt Blaster is we're immediately dealing damage. Because he freezes and you're just, you're already dealing damage. Oh, we got lucky there. Wow, he cleared that really fast. And you sprinted up that hill. <laughs> Warrior bow with instant frost. That's not a bad idea, Gabriel. Yeah. Let's give that a try. I do kind of like the Bolt Blaster because you're just dealing the damage right away. 
but I, I know you mean for freezing them. Do you favor Art Paris? What's up? Glad you like the video stats. Hopefully they've been helpful. My strength is yours. You, Outlander, come and trade. You want the crosshair on? For your own benefit or because you think, I mean, it'll make it easier for me. Get rid of all these traps in my toolkit. <laughs> Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah, we can we can turn the crosshair on for one. Uh, where is it here? I am trying to do the, the playthrough without a crosshair, though. Radical, where is it? Here, here we go. You bring trade. I'm just going to go unlock this shelter. Jeremy, you can't hear the game very well. MC Nivu, thanks. I'm glad that you found them helpful. Snowflakes on my lash. Let's load up. See, the thing is, though, Gabriel, like, people aren't going to have all these coils, you know? So I'm not sure I can really recommend this. But we'll give it a try. Am I married? I look married. I am married.
married with Horizon. Right. Tie you down. All right, let's see how fast we can freeze him with this. Oh, we got two of them. Sometimes they clear it really fast, and sometimes they don't. These claw striders are so annoying. Reloaded. That worked pretty well. I just don't know if I can recommend, just don't know if I can recommend a warrior bow 
loaded up with five <laughs> legendary instant brittle coils. It was fairly, it, it usually froze them pretty quick. Sometimes it took a while, but with lower rarity ones, it's going to take a long time. It's not going to be very consistent. I'll mess around with the frost claws more. You. Let's go do some quests. Let me get my regular loadout back here. Yeah, I agree, Paris. I'd want to get it, like, leveled up blue gear slash low-level purple gear. Would be appropriate for a recommended build for Frostclaw hunting. I don't know about Apex ones, though. Apex ones you might need purple gear for. I think we've got like three quests here we can pick up. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna turn my reticle back off now that we're continuing with the walkthrough. Come, Huntress. You and I. Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you to see if you need help. Bold move, Wallbreaker. Burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. I, I was just... At ease. Many in the clan agree with you. And Marshal Cotello was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Cotello showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower, one we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing, it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them, especially when their chaplain supports their return. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Takote another black eye? Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. Jeremy, I, I used the, the blue spinthorn spike thrower because it has a built-in 25% knockdown power perk. So that if you if you put two knockdown power 15% coils on it, it actually has more knockdown power than the Vindicator spike thrower. I'm specifically talking about using drill spikes. So but you could totally use the Vindicator. Sometimes I use it because I want to have access to stronger explosive spikes. Um it's not that different, but if you want max knockdown damage, the spin thorn is what you want to use. Methods to farm basic ammunition resources, like which resources? Evu. Um, sludge, volatile sludge, um, you want to farm apex spike snouts would be the best way to do that. And then tremor tusks are really good if you knock off all their ammo drums, because they have four ammo drums. Thunderjaws have two, so they're okay as well, but they're kind of harder to farm. But if you farm Tremor Tusks and then always tear off all four ammo drums, you'll get a lot of ammo resources. Nintendo, yeah. The uh, arena farming glitch does still work. We're still on patch 1.18.
yeah, Clava. I don't know how they they need the uh, the Banuk to give them a little bit of a lesson on clothing themselves, the Sky Clan in the cold climate. Let's pick up these other two quests. My brother will make it. What's going on here? The Wallbreaker. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka, Lataka, to your training, now! Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Would you mind checking up on the march? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. I get it. You can't miss the path markers. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. No slacking, soldier! I'm coming, I'm coming. Pento. You better stay safe. I've noticed they'll be climbing the walls in here sometimes, but we can't. Which is kind of interesting. Wish I didn't have to drill with all this armor on. Less complaining and more climbing, Checka. Yes, sir. The rebels will beat you. Maybe I was wrong. All blades against the gall. If we want to reclaim our honor, we could jump off a cliff. Can I ask what you're arguing about? Oh, Sariva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the Ten. But I say, hanging on to a Stormbird for dear life isn't the same. A Tanakh rode a Stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a strong word. Ha! Huh, you admit it. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountain top. The Stormbird still circles the peak, but we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. A shame no one can reach that mountain top. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. I'm a pretty good climber. No doubt, but unless you want to try what Farika did, there's no realistic way to get up there. For now. I don't care what you say. She flew. Actually, I should put Aloy in a more climate appropriate outfit, huh? Why is this taking so long to load? I've never had that happen. Child, were you there? I saw it all in the distance. She fought well, I will be right. Okay, so what did we get here? I don't think we can do this until I think Seeds of the Past has to be completed for second verse. Let's go do call and response. Clean that up. She fought well. Ha, good day. She was the first of her kind. She doesn't count. I'm telling you, she flew. Oh. 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 You honor the Tanakh. Here walks Aloy. Jira said the old watchtower should be near the falls. Time to tell those soldiers to head home. Uh 
There's the watchtower. I need to talk to their squad leader, Kiva. You're up next to the mountaintop, duty. I was just up there two days ago. Yeah, and I was up there yesterday. Are you Kiva? I am. And you. You're the outlander who killed Regala's champion at the embassy. Ram Squad was there. We saw your duel. Pavalo still owes me shards. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Chaplain Jera sent me. It's time for you to go home. Jera's cracked then. There's no way our commander will allow us to leave our post. Not after our insubordination. Things have uh, changed at the Bulwark. Dakota won't be able to stop you. Really? He's finally been taken down a notch? All right then. The last member of Ram Squad is on duty at the tower on the mountain. Let me recall him. That's odd. Ezeko always answers. One of us will have to go up. I can get up there easily. I'll check on him. Much appreciated. The start of the climb is just across the falls. Try not to break your neck, yeah? What's my favorite What's settlement, Soldier Bear? Um, I think Plain Song is the most unique. Like, it, I think it's the coolest. But I don't like hang out there all the time, you know. We're moving out, back to the bulwark. You're shitting me. What about Ezeko? The Outlander will check back on him. Sunwing shortcut. There's some kind of machine circling the watchtower. That's not a good sign. I gotta take out these machines before I can look around. Okay, so where is the soldier assigned to this watchtower? That must be him. Judging by these wounds, the Sky Drifter surprised him. At least it was quick. Kiva sounded her horn. It's a different call from before. I'd better get back down to the watchtower and check on them. Hey, Balthazar, thank you so much for the $25 dono, man. The super. Really appreciate that. I always enjoy seeing your comments. Appreciate the support, man. Good to see you here. Let's make sure we didn't miss any goodies up here. I think there's a green shine chunk or slab. Somewhere around here. I don't really need it, but... Oh, wildlife without a reticle is kind of hard. The watchtower is under attack. I need to get down there fast. Swooping into battle. Those machines are in for a surprise. Glenn talks. Thanks, Balthazar. Blood of the Ten the Outlander glides. Gotcha.
Oh, missed it. Jeremy Glinthawk nerf. Is it Glinthawk nerf? You mean compared to Zero Dawn? Yeah. Yeah, Tyler, they are less annoying than Zero Dawn for sure. Thanks for the assist. Is the Zeko on his way down? Actually, the machines got him. Took him by surprise. I'm sorry. What? He was the first of the squad. Our best fighter. He's gone, Kiva. It's just the two of you now. Damn, Dakote. All we did was go to the embassy. Follow Chief Akaro's orders? A and what do we get for it? A death sentence dressed up as guard duty. All because Takote has a vendetta against the Chief. Well, that ends now. Yeah. Thanks, Outlander. Here. This is for you. Pavalo! We're moving out. Dakota is an underhanded jerk. But maybe now he'll stop wasting lives over political agendas. Yes, Tyler, clamber jaws are very annoying. <laughs> What's my my opinion on the most difficult sh Sheen and Zero Dawn in Forbidden West? Um, honestly, I feel like Shell Snappers are super annoying. And then in Zero Dawn, I don't know if Shell Snappers are like objectively the most difficult on their own. But to kill them and like get all the shell bolts and everything is really annoying because it takes a long time and they keep diving underground. So that would probably be my pick for Forbidden West. And then Zero Dawn, um, when you first run into the first Fire Claw, that's really tough. The group of like two to four Frost Claws is also really tough. Let's clean up this rebel outpost.
Dodged a little too soon. of some kind must be the ones duca mentioned i should take them back to the grove when i get a chance without a leader the rebels should abandon this place but i could always deal with them now either way i'm done here saw her run into the grass get in there i'll watch over really Yeah, Shining Dragon, they definitely nerfed the heavy weapons pretty hard in Forbidden West compared to Zero Dawn. Sniping is pretty difficult without the reticle. Okay, snap moss. You could fire at anyone traveling down the this mountain is from this not spot. Not your fight. No wonder the rebels sat up here. Is it just the two of them over there? Hey! 
Oh, I don't know if I've seen that one before. These rebels won't be bothering anyone else. Trying to get better at melee combat. What does Slazenger call the jump one? The cyclone? Jump R1, R2? Do you have to hold forward when you do that to make sure you hit them? Oh, this is the Plasma Fanghorn. I don't know if you guys have seen this. There's no actual Plasma Fanghorns alive in the game, but there's a dead one here. Kind of interesting. Just jump an R1, R2, Paris. I guess I just wasn't really facing them when I was doing it. I feel like I wasn't hitting both. Yeah, I think there's a few more Plasma Fanghorns around here. Dead ones. TH less, yeah, there's there's Frost Clamber Jaws in the Redwoods too. Dead ones. Where'd he go? Let's go to a shelter and make it daytime before we do this quest. Soldier bear, bolt blasters, or warrior bows? I'm still on bolt blasters. I've I've messed. I need to mess around with warrior bows a little bit more, and try and really like play with them for a long time. Work them into my play style. But I just like bolt blasters more. Where's the fire claw? The fire claw we were just fighting? It's only there while that rebel outpost is not cleared. And then it disappears. So it's gone now. Now that we've killed it.
Someone's coming down heavy. Did our sun wing get killed? Oh no. I think our sun wing got killed. Let's go get another one real quick. easiest site to get him at. I don't really want to climb up the mountain. Yeah, it'd be cool if the Sunwing had an offensive ability. Like, just shoot some plasma while you're flying it. Maybe in the DLC. Who knows? Mako, yeah, actually, I, I have Call of the Mountain on pre-order. So I will be doing content on that for people to watch. Because I'm, I'm guessing, like, the vast majority of Horizon players are not going to play it. Because they're not going to get a PSVR 2, you know. It'd be crazy to just get one, for everybody to just get one just for that. So I'll be doing some kind of, I'll probably stream a walkthrough of it is what I'll do. Wounded. What happened? That person looks like they're in charge. I should talk. Well, Breaker. If you've come to witness the March of the Ten, you're out of luck. Actually, I came looking for someone called Pento. Pento? That poor scab was as good as dead even before the storm hit. You're out of line, soldier. What's he talking about? The kid you're looking for is still up on the mountain, along with two others. Pento was the only one who decided to break tradition and climb without a partner. His odds aren't good. I'm sorry to say they never were to begin with. As far as being Tanak goes, you've got most of it backwards. So what? You're all just waiting here? Shouldn't you be calling for help? Couldn't find anyone in that storm, even if we wanted to. Those kids are at the mercy of the mountain now. We'll see about that. But first, a couple of questions. I could try following the path up the mountain, see if I can find Penta. You said there were two other climbers missing as well? Just one. The other is right there. Zika! Rocco and I, we were climbing back down. There was an avalanche where we got separated. I couldn't see anything. Someone's gotta go up there. You can barely see your own feet in that storm. Except I don't need to. I'll be back. Are you wounded? If the storm gets too rough, I can always use my focus to find those climbers. I should follow the markers. They'll lead me to the start. I'll stash this away for later. I'm 
I feel like the storm is not as uh, heavy as when I did this on other playthroughs. I mean, it gets heavier as we go up, but I thought it was like a blizzard right from the start. You want some of this? Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. That knock needs help. Whoever you are, That's thanks for the assist. <laughs> You okay? Not really, but I'll live. Your climbing partner, she said you got separated during an avalanche? My partner? Yeah, the avalanche caught us off guard. Swept me up like a twig. I was sure I was a goner. Then someone grabbed hold of me and pulled me out. It was Penta. He risked his life for me. Did you see where he went? Up that cliff behind you. Said he was gonna finish the climb. I told him it was suicide, but he wouldn't listen. Can you make it back down on your own? Yes. You're not going after him, are you? Go. Get back to Wakata before the storm gets any worse. May the Ten be with you. I have to find Pento before he gets Yeah, the Shredder is strong, Liz. Stalkers are pretty weak to um, shock, though. I should use my focus to pick up Pento's trail. Those must be Pento's tracks. Let's hope I can catch up to him. It looks like the avalanche destroyed most of the climbing path. Missing soldier must have climbed up this way. Fento made it past here. The path must have collapsed after him. Maybe I can glide across. I made it. I should be able to pick up Pento's tracks again. I kind of agree with you, Soldier Bear. Apex Tremor Tusks are super weak to shock. Just spam it. Shock Shredders. And they will collapse. Let's hope that's Pento. Looks like he could use some help. back down here. Everything in my focus is garbled. Oh, 
hate those things. When they pulse your focus. Penta? Do I know you? Wakata sent me. We need to get off this mountain, now. No. I'm not going back there as a failure. I am getting that flower no matter what. Look, I know what it's like when your tribe looks down on you, but you- Then you understand why I'm either gonna get to the top of this mountain or die on it. Thank you. What are you doing? This climb is meant to be done by two people, right? I'll be your partner. I'll follow your lead. Here, should be useful. Yeah, so Mally, I think here. Um, if you did wait long enough, they would pretty much take it down for you, but it would you know take my a while. Name, but I don't think I've caught yours. You want it's some ammo? Aloy. You sure you want to involve yourself with the Bulwark's biggest loser, Aloy? I like to make my own judgments about people. You know, it's not like everyone can be born with a sword glued to their hand, but apparently that's what it takes to be Tanakhed. This is my one shot at proving everyone wrong. Well, sounds like you're a what stubborn as any Tanakhed. I don't know. Maybe it's just the wind. It's a dead end. There's a climbing spike left over from the original pack. Not that it's a- That was amazing! I'll knock this tree down! It should let us reach the climbing path! We should be able to jump onto that climbing path from the tree. That's some climbing gear you've got. Thanks. It's time to start climbing. That doesn't sound like any storm wind I've ever heard. Keep your eyes peeled. This is it. I can't believe we actually made it. Let's get to that summit then. Pento just hit me there from behind. This way, Aloy. Wait up. 
Yeah, knockdown might be part of the strategy for him. I hesitate, though, because I think people struggle to land them on the legs. And then with Frost Claws and Fire Claws, they have the Bipedal and quad Quadruped different modes, and that gets confusing. Because you basically want to target the back legs all the time to make sure it's actually applying... going to trigger a knockdown. storm it's easing up i'll see you later gabriel thanks for dropping so, in how does it feel to make rank pretty great actually this this means everything to me you know even if you go back with that it doesn't mean they'll treat you any different honestly i think i just need to prove to myself i could do this you should go back let the others know i'm okay I'd like to take a moment, if you don't mind. I'll be right behind you. Of course. Thank you. I'll probably stream at least another I hour, reach Paris. The of the trail faster if I use my shield wing. I am getting close view too. I feel like the storm is supposed to clear up right after that dialogue, so you're not just gliding through. Everything a white so cloud. Now that the storm has passed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Paris. I, I'll stream for at least another hour, probably. I wanna. I will probably do seeds of the past. We might just do that next. I'm way off here. I should be reaching the bottom of the trail soon. Pento can't be far behind. There's everyone. Aloy! She's back! Will I play Machine Strike, Soldier Bear? Yeah, I mean, I'll do whatever Machine Strike I have to do to get 100%. Aloy, you return alone. Where is he? He's my brother. You can't go crying like that, Jekka. You're the sister of a proper soldier now. Bento! Ow! I bring you the blood crest as proof of my march. And with my blessing, you join our ranks. May you find your path on the wings of the Ten. You've got to be kidding me. Him? A soldier? Please. Flower or no flower, we all know all he'll ever be good for is cleaning everyone's shit. I think we're done here. Better put some snow on that, or it'll bruise. Thanks for saving my life. Maybe when I get my old soldier's mark, we can fight in the same squad. Give me a chance to return the favor. He's cute. Go on. I'll catch up. Here. <laughs> Something to commemorate our climb. May the Ten always grant you victory, Aloy. I'll see you around, Pento. Good use of this.
Machine Strike, yeah, I guess maybe you don't need any Machine Strike to get 100%. Yeah, um, I'm not the biggest fan of Machine Strike, so if we don't have to play it, I might not play it. Let's do Seeds of the Past. Keep going past my spikes. There we go. Or should we do this cauldron? Mm. Maybe after, maybe after Seeds of the Past. I don't think it's going to let us fly much further than this anyway, so I'm just going to... We're just going to run in on a charger. Sorry, goat. Are to knock. Someone managed to take out an entire squad. One thing's for sure. I'm not alone out here. There's lights in that ruin. I better keep my guard up. Pin down. Move in. Okay, whoever these people are, it looks like we're not going to be friends. I need to get past these Let hostiles and into now. the ruins. Let her have it. Ah. Hunt her down. Don't you lose her!
still in this fight. Oh, that little bar got in the way. I don't think I would have hit it anyway. Come on, come forward. Come on. Oh. All right. Protect the sight. Kill her. You're in trouble now. fast in case there's more of them according to Gaia it should be somewhere in these ruins thanks Paris I'm still working on making sure I do the half moon slash r1 hold like I just am not used to doing that after I do an r2 so I kind of missed some of those. Looks like some sort of old office complex. The Greenhouse. Ferro Automated Solutions Industry Leading Biotech Research Facility. Agritech. Environmental Remediation. Matt, why am I using melee? Um. If you know how to use melee properly, it's pretty strong against it, against human enemies. But I am also just trying to get better at it. My friends Slazinger and Paris. I don't know if Slazinger's in the chat right now, but Paris is. And they've both done quite a bit of research and testing on melee. And Slazinger put together a really awesome guide. on that door. But those vines are blocking the way. Unless I can cut through them, I'm going to need to find another way in. Which, by the way, guys, in the description is a link to my player resource database, which has a ton of links in it. But one of the links in there is the guide that Slazinger put together with his and Paris's research on melee combat. It's a Google Doc with a bunch of, like, categorized links for all different types of things you might need help with in the game. Uh, Paris, I mean the power attack, yeah. So, like, I just forget to hold R1 basically as soon as I let that go. And if you don't, it seems like if you don't hold it as soon as you let it go, then yeah. See, like, I waited a moment there, and you don't get the half moon slash cancel. No way out. Great. 
Unless there's a console. Yeah, there's a link to Paris's like Excel spreadsheet too that shows all the research he did on melee combat. A lot of it made it into the guide that Slazinger made. A log. Just got off the line with U.S. Robot Command. Time's running out. Didn't have the heart to tell Harris that our cure might be worse than the disease. Even if adamantine wreath works, we still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently. But Cobble's team is working on it over at Test Station Ivy. He'll come through. He has to. Adamantine wreath. Another secret project. Although they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so... Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy... How do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Great. These guys again. Whoever they are, they want me dead. I better be careful. Okay. I could take those soldiers out quietly. There's a barbarian in the compound. She got past the lookouts. Find her, kill her, and bring her head to the lieutenant. Understood. The I guess diplomacy is off the table. Did you see that too? You come back, I'll be ready. I'm going to kill you. I really wish these people would have talked to me instead of trying to kill me. I love the, uh, like, charging sound for that weapon. <laughs> Berserker Hunter Bow? Can we get multiple copies of that one? I guess not. Yeah, it leaves it there. Not that it's a particularly good bow. Oh, 
Unless you like Berserker, then it's the one. Except for the Marshal. Door looks promising. I submit. Alva. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. If by death alone, I can atone our trespass. I'm not gonna kill you, okay? I just wanna figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Uh, I moved the chosen people. The Quen. The ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone. The eye that reveals the legacy. The legacy, huh? The legacy? Uh, the truth. Now, it is in the darkness and the lost places. Among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. Now, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alva. Second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we... Start again. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map. Uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. There's a lot of files here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. <sighs> like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? Looks like your focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? <gasps> you can see what is lost. And forbidden. Not lost. Not forbidden. Just a newer format. <laughs> Alva's there. funny. That's where I need to go. <sighs> but you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. Well, what about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Well, let's try with my focus. I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but I'm not sure. Erock, um, I have an LG C10 that I've played that I play on. I mean, the game looks incredible on it. I'm not playing on it right now, though. Okay, here we go. Following your lead, the ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. You want me to come with you? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? Oh, this place is a maze. According to the map, there should be another exit further in. Just stay close. Lead the way.
Oh, the light elf Paris? Yeah. Oh, fire gleam. There's an enemy in God of War called Alva. Okay. Well, that was loud. Yeah, Erock, if you're looking to get an OLED TV, the LG ones are super good. Um, there's some new Samsung ones too, though, that I've heard are really, really good. I don't have one. There has to be a way out of here. Honestly, there's not much difference between like the C10 and the C1 and the C2, though. So, if you can find a deal on a C10 or a C1, I would, I would get that instead. What's that thing in the wall? <laughs> Raphael, glad I've saved your controller. Glad you found the guides helpful. They said spring for New Game Plus for God of War, Mali. Spring's kind of a broad time frame. That could be as late as June. Um, I don't know if they've specified it more than that. According to the map, the exit should be this way. Hmm. Oh, must have taken a wrong turn. Oh, I'll be glad to get back above ground. Yeah, it feels like a tomb down here. Yeah, there really is very little post-game content for Ragnarok Paris. That's kind of why I've moved on. I spent some time in Muspelheim grinding stuff, and then I was like, all right, time to do something else. That can't be good. They fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? Touche. <sighs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. How else could they be ancestors? Good point, Alva. We can fight them, or try to sneak past. <laughs> Your call.
like you do. Thanks, Alva. Took a lot of damage there. I'm just like holding my shots a lot longer because I don't have the reticle to make sure I'm lined up. But I guess that's kind of the expected. My favorite tribe soldier bear, um, probably the Banuk. I just think they're really unique. They're not in Forbidden West right now, though. A vent. I think I can pull it open. Got it. I'm right behind you. can get through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. There's consoles up here too! I know where to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. This one won't budge. Maybe one of the others. I think I can move these things. I thought it was the one over there. there. Huh. There's some space back there. Aha. This should help. Supplies. No use trying to pull that. Rock, are you what's your name on Discord? Is it different? Um Aloy, would would you mind warning me next time you decide to um uh, blow up a wall? I'll uh try. Bear eight seven one on Discord. Go. Gotcha. That looks like some sort of conveyor. You think you can move it over to me? Yeah, yeah we should have a good time if when Burning Shores comes it, out. I can get you to those consoles. Exactly. Hold it there. Let me just. I jumped on top. Hold on. That's good. Jumping over. <sighs> Made it. I'm at the console. Wait. There's data here. A, a lot. But it's locked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, 
My mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help. If I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. And we right. need the power cell, I swear it's we in this one. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see. I think she has to unlock it. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. Yeah. I gotta move this. There should be a power cell inside. Then I you found need the to energy find cell. Way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. Yeah, Soldier Bear, I was just mentioning that a minute ago. Um, I'd say the Banuk are my favorite tribe, just because I think, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be one. Doesn't seem like the okay. lifestyle I would want. That brought power back but uh, you they just seem cool. Now. Pretty On unique. Jeremy, you like spoilers? Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Ready when you are. Okay, you ready? On two. One, two. Commencing adamantine reef vulnerability test scenario 12C15. Okay, that's where we need to go. Magnetic field engaged. Initiating biomass conversion process. What? No, 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 no. How do I shut this thing off? Failsafe exceeded. Test cannot be aborted. What is this? That's how the world ended. Test complete. Adamantine restructuralization. Yikes. Uncompromised. What did we just see? Alva. Let's meet below. I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log. Um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second? Who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors, they were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? A time of ashes. But most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva, I get it. I do.
It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But... Every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. We need to keep moving. Test Station Ivy can't be far off. Super hot. Um, my favorite NPC? Probably either Talana or Catalo. I like the trio in uh in the Still Sands area though. Like Moreland and crew. They're funny. Hey Charlie, good to see you, man. Yeah, I like this face paint too, Shining Dragon. The the Quen face paints in New Game Plus are pretty cool. There's a few good ones. Soldier Bear, I've, I've answered that twice now, man. I think you've asked every time, too. So hopefully you're paying attention this time. My favorite tribe are the Banuk. Which cauldron, Parteku? Um, but the road to truth is never a straight line. I get them all mixed up with the names, but the one with the water puzzle is really cool that we passed earlier. Yeah, no worries, Soldier Bear. I just metal flower, I thought you'd seen it. What the data referred to as adamantine wreaths. They were supposed to stop the destruction that caused the Yeah, Kappa. Ashes. Thanks, guys. Looks like it. I always forget there's nothing in this room. I don't think anyway. Uh, this pipe looks like it goes all the way to the surface. I think we're under the proving grounds. Maybe it connects the rig to the tower. Best not to linger here long, then. So I never asked. Uh, are you from around here? No, I'm not. I am. Um spent most of my life in a place far the east. Oh, we both traveled a long way then. Yeah, we might go do Kappa right after this. I haven't done it in a long time because I haven't done a 100% playthrough in a while. Cold and damp down here. And, uh, so it'll be fun. I've probably forgotten how to solve all the puzzles, so it'll be fun to kind of do it. This is it. Hey, Balthazar, another donation, man. Have to go to work? No worries. Thanks for dropping in. I appreciate the super. Good to see you here. Have a good time at work. Okay. Let's find a way to get into the proving ground. Desolation. Nothing survived. Yeah, that's true, Soldier Bear. Farl is very cool. I think he has the best like character development compared to how he was in Zero Dawn for sure. That complex should be Test you Station Ivy. Feel like he's your friend well, let's now. Hope it you know. The answers we seek. It's so Aaron was expanded a lot still. too. 
Yeah. Stream is at 99 likes. Thanks, guys. Let's get 100. All right, we know what's coming up here. One of those machines. It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. You with me? Yes. Oh no. I forgot we didn't have Range Master on. The components air coil. It's really a shame there's only one of those, one legit one per playthrough. I still think the, the merchant in Legacy's Landfall, or at the dig site, I mean, the fact that we they have an identical um, menu to, I think it's the Still Sands Merchant. Um, I just feel like the Legacy's Landfalls or a dig site merchant should have had a component tear coil for sale or somebody should have had one for sale. Just one even. Which cauldron is the one where you ride the tall neck out? Yeah, I, f I just get the names so mixed up. That one's really cool, though. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Oh, that's interesting. Find something? Yeah, good the point, Paris. The guidebook station. says that they're supposed Willow. to have it. The components are coil. Like huh. That might be worth a look sometime. This console still operational. Hey, Fry. Thanks for dropping in. Another log. We're done in every way. The wreaths work. The cobble came through on a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme causes the reeds to eat themselves from within but it's too late the latest projections from u.s robot command have swarm reproduction outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375 percent not even close deserve it for what I made here. This will be my last log before evacuation. So all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module onto my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room.
Hey, Matt. Thanks for the membership, man. I think you might be the first. You might be the first. Welcome to the crew. Yeah, guys, so I have membership set up on the channel. It's 99 cents a month. Um, you get some, you get, you can see it with Matt here. When he chats, he gets a uh, badge next to his name. And then you also get access to some special emoji in chat. And you get a special role on Discord, on my Discord server, where you get access to the Superfans channel, where you can like, uh, it's kind of an exclusive area on Discord. They're here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you. And Matt, you won't you won't be the only one in that Superfans <laughs> channel on Discord. It's also open to anybody who's boosting this Discord server. And also anybody who's over chat level 30 on Discord, because those are I figured chat level 30 is kind of a cutoff for like just people that have been around a really long time and done a lot for the community, so. We can use the line to get down. Thanks again for the membership. Uh, right. Easy. Thanks, Charlie. Glad you like the logo. So those the chat levels, like the white one that Matt had has right now, is because he's brand new. And then when he gets one month, it'll turn green. So I have him set up like weapon rarities in a game. So it's like white, green, blue, purple, um, gold, or yellow. And then I have like some more colors after that. Are you on Discord, Matt? There's a link in the description to the Discord server. If it doesn't work, um, let me know and I'll figure out how to get you the right role on Discord. I thought I had it set up right, but I think you're the first one to do it, so I may not have set it up correctly. Made it. But we'd better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. Hey football. They could Stream's been going time. good. Right. Good to see you here. Now what? Now, we get to that data core. Missed this chest earlier. Yeah, let me know, Matt. Take a look on Discord. and If you can see the Superfans channel, like, in the top area of, like, where the Arctic's Discord um, category is, then it's working. And you should have a YouTube member role. Oh. Is this where we're supposed to be going? I don't think so. Ricardo, thanks for the membership, man. I think you're number two. Appreciate it. <laughs> you guys should test out some of the emoji. I think I'm only allowed to have four, but I have um, Plusle, one of my mods on Discord, actually made those emoji. So thanks a lot for him for letting me use them. And we have a Shredder Gauntlet, Fire Teddy for the Frost Claw, or Fire Claw, which is what we call fr Fire Claws kind of over on the Discord server as a joke. And then we have the Tremor Tusk. Because I do a lot of testing on the Tremor Tusk. <laughs> and then I forget. I think it's an Let's Aloy one the is the fourth works. one. Hey, thanks, Ricardo. Glad you like the content. Hope you find it helpful. Blooming. Yeah, there you go. There they Let's all see are. The works. Thanks, Ricardo. Fine. Yes, Tremmy. Door's clear now. Tremmy is the Tremor Tusk specifically on the Ice Lake. Yeah, you did football. You've been here a long time, man. I appreciate the, the support. Time to bring Demeter home. I love these little animations when you collect the subordinate functions. Demeter, it's time to go home. To Gaia. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. 
Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But it kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. Uh, what you said before about... Whoa. Alba! Hold your fire! By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come. Look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, L look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you, an ancestor reborn. Diviner, we should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. It is far west, by the ruins near the Broken Bridge. San Francisco? Yes. You are well versed in the Legacy. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Hey, Ricardo, I thanks for the officers. superman. Appreciate that. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway, but I might want to head to that cauldron north of here before I make the trek back. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. Yes, let's head to the Cauldron Kappa. Um, let's catch up on chat here real quick, though. Okay. Yeah, Erox. So subscribing to the channel is not the same. Joining as a member on YouTube is what Ricardo and Matt have done here to get the badges. Yeah, football. I just made it 99 cents because, first of all, YouTube takes 30% of memberships and then i'll probably set up like higher tier like patreon donation tiers um and do like early access to resources like spreadsheets and things like that but i haven't set those up yet but i just figured the youtube one you know just make it as accessible as i can to people yeah matt you got it so twitch follows are the same as like a youtube sub and then Twitch, Twitch memberships, no, Twitch subs are the same as YouTube 
memberships. It gets confusing with the terminology. Your promise, Soldier Bear? What promise? Um, the membership button, it'll say join Charlie. I'm not sure what it looks like below the stream, but if you go on the, my channel page on YouTube, you'll see it right at the top. And that's actually where you can check out what the other like colors of the badges look like. And I might change some of them. Like I just had to kind of pick colors after gold that I didn't use already, but those are for like one year, two year, four year. So we're not going to get there for a little while. So I have some time to come up with something better for those. Oh yeah, if I make a Frost Club video, you'll join the channel. I will make a Frost Club video, for sure. rid of all these traps I'll find this in my stash later all right let's do this cauldron Trying to hit his neck. It'll be hard to sneak into that cauldron without being seen. Might want to take care of these machines first. him in the eye.
swimming. Not the time to go swimming, Aloy. Him next to this guy. Give it a rest first till I get my stamina back. All these little pools are super annoying. Trying to time my dodge is too close. Where'd you go? here this is why they're so annoying like where is it under the mountain yeah I do have auto sprint on I don't even know where it went way back there yeah I don't know if you guys know but there's a trick I didn't figure this out but you can pop a smoke bomb to force them to come out of the ground I know I have unused coils. That was a pretty messy fight. Yeah, the smoke bomb to pop them out of the ground is a pretty useful tip. It feels almost a little bit too OP if you use it a lot, but their attacks are so annoying. I've don't really care. I use it quite a bit. I probably should have used it more there, to be honest. I just don't like blowing through like six smoke bombs for one machine. Down. 
Where do we have to go? I don't think we can just climb straight out, can we? I have not played Sekiro. I should give it a try. Um, yeah, I've looked at it a little bit. I haven't played it at all, but I might enjoy it. I'd have to give it a try. machine overrides. Be able to climb up now. Hey, Plusle. Good to see you here. No, you it's going good. Oh, I guess that's not gonna work. What now? There's gotta be a way out of this room. Maybe there's a way to climb up around here. Yeah, it stumped me pretty good, too. Uh, we'll see if I can remember what to do. Oh. Current's moving the crate. Trying to go a little too fast with cycling the shredders, not getting the fourth throw. The third catch. On the crate, I can let the current carry me to the rail.
just need to jump to that rail when the time is right. To catch a ride, I guess. <laughs> Just missed it. I think this might be my favorite cauldron puzzle. A cool puzzle. The tall neck one is cool too though. There's the core. Now I just have to get to it. Maybe I can glide to the platform. back onto that platform. Good sniping practice without the reticle. The eye's a pretty big target though. Which one's Iota again? I get the names all mixed up. Wait, Jacob, are you serious? Or is that a joke? Because if that's real, I do not know about that. No joke? You're going to make me do it on stream and test it? Left, right, up. Left, right, up. All right. Let's see if we can find one. Looks like I can climb up this way. This looks like some kind of What's in loot. them? Just some loot? What it's used for. That's really cool. If you're not pulling my leg. <laughs> There's a note over there. I can't override it from here. There's not a lot of room for a freak down here. I have to be careful around that snowball.
not worth it. Harris, do you know about these Trivor stores too? How did I not know about these? to it. Looks like this whole place is some kind of pump. Question is, pump for what? If you guys see one of these Triforce doors, I, can use them to climb up. I mean, I'm keeping an eye out for them, but let me know. that node. Let's see if it gets me anywhere. Okay, yeah. The Blake the breakable glass doors. But like not all not partially broken yet. Swim my way to those overrides. If I can find my way back to the core. Thanks, Emmanuel. I'm working on it. It's my first playthrough without a reticle, so I'm trying to practice it. Predicting like the arrow drop is the hardest thing, I think. Thank you. 
Hey, Jedi. Pin King, yeah, I'm on PS5. Welcome, JB. It's the only, it's the second live stream I've ever done, so you're not too far behind. All right, Ricardo, I will see you later, man. Have a good time at work. Thanks for becoming one of the first ever members and for dropping into the stream. There's the core. Yeah, spam the emojis, man. One of these. Maybe it'll you recognize those emojis, Plussel? I think we know somebody who made them. Thanks, Ricardo. Appreciate it, man. Okay, so part of the game here, I think I already messed up because I think we have to move the that crate, might be useful. crate over when the water's down. That tunnel looks like it leads out of here. But how to reach it? Oh, we can't do it right now. Swim over to that. Emmanuel, yeah, they are they are gonna do a reboot of Zero Dawn for PS5. Um, well I don't know if it's gonna be exclusive to PS5, but there's a good chance it will be. They also, I don't know if you guys know this, but there is a confirmed multiplayer game for Horizon in the works. It's going to be a few years probably before we see it, but we will be getting a multi multiplayer Horizon game online. Maybe if I place the crate under the rail, I can climb up to that tunnel. I think I'm getting this thing out of here. There has to be another way to get into that room. Maybe if I lower the water, I can place the crate where I need it. Oh yeah, we have to dive down to lower the water. Okay. I can lower the water level with this. Help me with my crate problem. Should be able to move that crate now. Where are we moving it to? I should move that crate where the rail is, then raise the water level again. 
think we just have to get it out of this area for now. So it doesn't get locked in that little pool. Need to create some distance first. Yeah. Thanks, guys. This should work. I don't know if you'll need to buy a new game for the now, Zero Dawn reboot. Like if you already own Zero Dawn? Not sure. It might be like a DLC type cost, like 30 bucks or something. That might be close enough. Yeah, they're calling it a remaster puzzle, so. I think they basically want to make it have the same level um, graphics as Forbidden West. Just gotta move the crate to that rail on the wall and get out of here. One of the Zelda doors, Paris? Triforce doors? Near the pushable crate? The other one? get stuck in the corner. Looks like they called for backup.
find a way back to the core. It's funny, without the reticle, I feel like I'm realizing I rely on the reticle to, uh, I don't know, I guess time, like when I'm catching the shredders, I'm throwing the next one too fast and I'm like not catching it to get the explosive throw. I don't switch the tear shredders. No, I don't really like the tear shredders. I just kind of keep rolling with the elemental ones. If I had advanced shredders, like if I had a second shredder in my loadout, I'd switch to those. Like the advanced ones on the final chapter. But I don't find the tear shredders to be particularly great. See you, Plussel. Thanks for dropping in. I mean, this is not the Triforce door, is it? It's not these. Left, right, up. I don't think those are it. You guys are saying it's just like a symbol over it, a locked door, right? That's it. I can climb up from here. Small triangle door? Yeah. Well, I can jump on those metal carriers from here. Did I miss it? Was it in that area? I need to get to the core fast. All right, I'll see if I can go back. Missed it. Think I can infinite jump my way back there? Let's try. I might die. Yep. <laughs> Maybe this will take me back though. Yes. Okay, so you guys are saying it's down here? There's no way to reach it. Another crate. Just what I need. Left, right, down? Or left, right, up? Now that's just the vent. That 
crate can get me up to that ledge. I am sure of it. Up at the top, I guess, is what you guys are saying? Yeah, up there. That's it. I can climb up from here. Okay, yeah, I see it. Three sides to one. Now what's behind this door? Left, right, down, left, right, down. Oh, yeah, look, it doesn't bring up your toolkit when you're in here. Left, up, right, left, up, right. Oh, shit. The door opened. That's cool, guys. I did not know that. Wow. I can. It's dangerous to go alone without supplies. We learned something. Might as well grab these. That's a very cool Easter egg. I can't believe I've never seen those. Yeah, so she plays a little. I think you just have to stand on these light panels. And then Aloy says something about three triangles. And then your toolkit doesn't show up here. And you go left, up, right, left, up, right. That is really cool. Bet I can jump on those metal carriers from here. Thanks for telling me that, guys. I need to get to the core fast. All right, let's nail the silent strike from above this time. I've been made. Didn't get the prompt. Hey, thanks, Scroogey. Appreciate the sub. Glad you're liking the stream. I can't fight that thing in all this water. I need to hurry. Looks crazy. Look at this like spider thing building it. to the room I was in before. It's the only way to lower the water in here. <laughs> Had that note before. Maybe you can help me out.
There's your sub, Scroogey. Notifications. Is there another node we have to use? I think I have to go back where we opened that. I thought that lowered the water level, but I think it just opened a door. Where's the door? I'll make this quick and painless. Well, semi painless Tide Ripper. Here we go. go again missing that I just gotta wait a half a beat longer done here. Time to get those over. I'm going to figure out how to add like an audio emote to the stream that's just Kratos is done. You guys know from like 2018 God of War? I was really upset they didn't include that in uh, Ragnarok. 
done. That was one of my favorite. Thanks, guys. I felt it was a little messy. I'm still getting used to the no radical. I'm really surprised how much that impacts, like, my timing of the shredder catches. I wasn't expecting that. Like, not hitting sharp shot snipes makes sense to me, but not being able to time my shredder catches and throws right, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'll get used to it, though. Yeah, Frost is pretty strong. It does need a... I think it needs a small nerf. Doors. They should leave me outside. Yeah, that weak spot on its chest, guys, the heart. Um, Beta Bry. It's actually bigger than you think. And, like, your arrows will go through all the stuff that's covering it. So you don't have to, like, try and thread the needle too much. You just kind of have to hit the general area after the plates are off, of course. This cauldron must have been pumping water in and out to release aquatic machines. All these fish are cool. All right, guys, I think that's going to be a good place to end the stream for today. I have to go and do a few things before the day's over. Um, I'll hang around for a few more minutes. I'll put the just chatting window up if you guys want to hang out for a few minutes. But I think that's going to be pretty much it for today's stream. So if you're heading out, thank you guys so much for dropping in and checking out the stream and spending some time together. Appreciate it. It's been fun, and we will do it again sometime soon. Thanks, Soldier Bear. Glad you thought it was good. Beta Pry, thanks. Glad you enjoy the guides and that they helped you. Yeah, Paris, good point. For anybody still here, the Discord server is very active. If you need help, tips on Horizon and stuff like that, um, definitely drop into the Discord server. Link is in the description. Lots of people who are on stream here giving tips are over there too, all the time. So hope to see you there. Thanks for dropping in, Arteku. Good to see ya. Yeah, I'll hang out for a few minutes, guys, if you guys have questions. But uh, I do have to go in a few minutes here. Thanks for dropping in, guys. See ya. Oh, that's good to hear, Matt. Yeah, I thought it might just take a minute. I'll see you on Discord. Thanks for dropping into the stream. The Discord link's too long, Paris. Yeah, it's in the description of of the stream. 
you can just scroll down and see it. Yeah, it's in the description of every single one of my vids too, Pin King. Good point. Should be easy to find. Jesus the Forgiver, my guides got you into the game. That's awesome to hear, man. Glad to hear that. Hope you're enjoying the game still. <laughs> Good point, Paris. Let me see if I can grab it real quick. Here's the Discord link, guys. Jeff plays, you were too late. Did you just get here? Sorry, man. We'll do another stream soon. Oh yeah, sorry, man. I usually do about, I'm thinking I'll usually do about three hours, so. And this is probably the time I'll do it again if I do it next weekend. So hope to see you there. All right, Paris, thanks for stopping in and manning the chat, addressing people's questions. Appreciate it. I'll see you later. 10.35, that's early for you, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I started at 5 o'clock in the morning for you, Jeff Plays? Yeah. Makes sense. Hopefully we'll dial in a time that works for most people. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'll let the music roll for a minute or two on the ending screen, but thank you all for coming. I will see you next time.